Hi guys, it's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed my new Ali Pearl wig. Um, I got it in the length 24 inches and 180 density. As you can see, there was so much stuff that it came with. Like it came with a wig cap, instructions, edge comb, um, head ties. So sis, you're good to go for your install. As you can see, the hair came pre-highlighted. I didn't really experience any shedding. When I washed it, it shed a little bit, but it was like a normal amount. I wasn't like, what the hell is this? It comes with adjustable straps and a stretchy cap. I could have done with a smaller cap, just because I did have to maneuver the way it sat on my head, but it was completely fine at the end of it. This is what the knots look like before I bleach them. I did forget to show you guys, but yeah, let's get into it. So I started by flipping my cap inside out. You don't actually need a mannequin head for this, but it just makes life so much easier. And I took my Jerome Russell B Blonde Bleach and 40 Developer. I'd recommend using a 30 or 20, I'm not gonna lie to you, just because you have to work so quick with a 40. I mixed it all together in my glass bowl and and I take my paintbrush, use a knife guys, I don't know why I use the paintbrush, um, and just spread it on in a thick layer. You want the consistency of the bleach to be almost like a toothpaste. So I just spread this on and I left it on for about 45 minutes, I wanna say. The knots were quite stubborn, so I really wanted to make sure it lifted to that honey bleach color. Make sure you regularly check on your knots and make sure that they're not orange. You wanna make sure it passes the orange stage and becomes blonde. I then went ahead and shampooed and conditioned the hair. I did use a purple shampoo just to tone the actual hair because it was a tiny bit too brassy for me. And I applied this onto the lace as well to make sure we didn't have no orange or bright yellow in the scalp. I went ahead and plucked my wigs off camera. This was the before. I was so tired, guys. This was at 2 a.m. But if you want to see how I pluck my wigs, I do have a tutorial which I'll link below for you to go check out exactly my technique on how I pluck. Um, the hairline was quite dense, as you just saw, so I had to pluck up quite a lot of hair. After letting my wig air dry, I just took my ORS heat protectant serum and I took the tiniest, tiniest bit because you don't want to oversaturate the hair end product and I applied it focusing on the ends of the hair and made sure I evenly distributed the product all over. I then went ahead and sectioned my hair off and straightened it starting from the bottom and just took tiny, tiny sections and ran my brush through in order to make sure everything was looking sleek. I always do my styling off the head just because it makes it so much easier to see what's going on in the back and it helps reduce the amount of time it takes to actually glue and put the wig on. Once you reach the front hairs and the hairs on the lace, you really want to make sure you focus on getting as close to the scalp as possible because um, you don't want any dents or bumps. Next, I took my ORS hair mousse and I took my Got To Be Glued Gel and I applied both of them onto the front of the hair and in the parting. This is just gonna help sleek everything down. You wanna make sure you brush all the hairs away from the front of the lace. This is gonna make it easier when it comes to cutting the lace to your head and we'll just remove any confusion. Again, this is all to make the install easier once it comes to applying it to the head. I then went ahead and took my hair tongs and I put them on the highest heat and just pressed down as hard as I could onto the areas that I've applied the hairspray and mousse. This is going to help seal everything together. When you press down on it, you might notice the sizzling sound. Keep pressing down onto the hair until the sizzling sound disappears. This is just the product melting into the hair. And this is the result of all we've done. As you can see, she's looking sleek. Now onto the install, I'm just going to tint the lace with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC50. Um, I don't ever use lace tints because I just think this is so much easier, like there's no point. I went ahead and popped the wig on, 
I didn't actually sew an elastic band to this wig. If you do want to see how I do that again, I've got another tutorial which I'll link below to show you exactly where to place your elastic band, but you don't always need to do so. I sectioned my hair off and just clipped away all the hair from the front and got ready to cut the lace. You also want to make sure that everything's aligning correctly to your hairline. When cutting your lace, you want to go in a zigzag motion. The reason you do this is because it makes the wig look less wiggy as a natural hairline isn't perfectly straight. So you want to really take your time in doing this as it can make or break the way your wig looks. I actually recommend using eyebrow razors. You can get them for like one pound on Amazon and they really help create that natural hairline effect. If it helps, you can actually cut the wig off your head, um, especially when it comes to cutting off the ear tabs. It does help doing it while the wig is off your head because obviously you can't see the back, so it makes it a lot easier and simpler. Moving on to actually gluing it down, I always use my ORS Fix It Spray and Fix It Gel. I take a small amount of the gel and I use the end of a rat tail comb slide it underneath the lace. This I found is the most effective way of gluing it down. Um, I've seen a lot of people, they lift the actual lace up and then use their finger to spread the glue down. I find that this lays down the gel in places you don't actually want it and then it leaves that sort of transparent film. So by sliding it underneath the lace, you get a more accurate positioning of where you're gluing down your hair. So I put down the gel and then I spray the fix it spray over the top of the gel and just blow dry everything. I'd say with these products, the install lasts about two to three days if you wrap your hair at night, but I always take my wigs off at night because I hate, hate, hate sleeping with them on. Now, I normally don't really do dramatic baby hairs, but I really wanted to try the sort of arrogant hay wispy baby hairs. So I took a small section of hair at the front of the wig and plucked going backwards from that section and then I just trimmed it with my scissors and then I took my ORS mousse and I applied a small amount just on the area that I have plucked and used the excess mousse to sweep the baby hairs. To help set the baby hairs I used some of the gel that I used to lay down the wig and I just went over the baby hairs with the smallest, smallest amount just to make sure that they really stayed in place. I just kept going in with the mousse and took a hard bristle brush, is that what you call them? It's like a hard bristle brush and just brushed all the hair backwards. This again helps to make the front of the hair look a bit more realistic and it just helps to flatten and sleek everything down so it looks nice and neat. I then went ahead and took some of my hairspray and just sprayed everywhere that we set with the mousse and the gel. Quickly just tying my hair back, I'm going to take my hair dryer and hold down the hair whilst drying all the areas that we were using the mousse and the product on. This is going to help make sure that when we do take off the head wrap, which you'll see in the next section, um, that the hair is actually dry and not still soaking wet. For the head tie, you can actually use anything, guys. You can use, you know, an old pair of tights. You can use a thin strip of fabric, which is what I'm basically doing. And the hair actually came with a head wrap as well. So literally be creative and use whatever you've got, sis. So I'm gonna tie that as tightly as possible to my head and just let my hair down and get ready to style. All I did was just go through with my straighteners again, just to make sure that everything was super, super sleek. A little trick that I actually learned is if you spray your hairbrush with some hairspray and brush your hair, it really helps to tame any flyaways and again helps everything to look really nice and uniform and sleek. I took my head wrap off after about, I want to say 20 minutes and this is what the frontal was looking like. So to help the baby hairs look nice and wispy, I took my edge brush, just brushed through them and then took my hard bristle brush again with some extra mousse and just sleeked down the top. Again, going in with my hair curlers after to help make sure that everything is sealed and locked into place. 
but yeah guys this is basically the end of the video i'm thoroughly enjoying this hair if you've seen on my insta <laughs> and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye